hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your first time thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you do enjoy today we're going to be growing our bot to start out we did some smith machine deadlift um the, you can easily do this on a regular smith machine which is what i'm using here or you can do it with just a free weight bar key is we're doing conventional deadlifts um as you can see my toes are pointing forwards and my hands are shoulder width apart start with using a weight that's very comfortable for you and make sure you do not curve your back you want your back to be straight all throughout this process so you do not hurt yourself whenever you do come up don't forget to squeeze your glutes that's how you feel the activation in your glutes once we're done with that you can do this squat on the smith machine which is the previous machine we were using or you can do it with the free weights i find the free weights more comfortable for me so i do use it again don't forget to use a weight that's comfortable for you um, also, you want to squat at least 90 degrees par parallel to the floor and once you come up, don't forget to squeeze your glutes. We're doing sumo style here. We moved on to doing some landmine squats. Um, if you do not have this machine in your gym or you can do this setup, just go ahead and get some dumbbells. You can totally do it with some dumbbells. Just You hold the dumbbells to your side and then whenever you squat, um, squat up, you push your hands forward, which is what I was doing here did different variation in squats just to target different parts of your glutes because your glutes are made up of three mu muscles the maximus the medius and the minimus um, whenever you do come down and don't forget to squeeze your glutes and you come up you squeeze also so you activate your glutes and be careful not to bend your knee so you do not hurt yourself again you can totally use a dumbbell for this or body weights now on to the easy stuff it, at least it's easy but it's not we started doing some resistance band donkey kicks um, as you can see here, just get on your four, your hands and your knees, and you want to kick backwards. We added the resistance band to give us more activation and focus more on building the glutes. We did 25 on each side, and it was painful. Trust me, it was hurting. Once we were done with that, we did some fire hydrants, which is just like a dog peeing, basically. Again, we left the resistance band on so that we can feel the activation in your glutes. Key is whenever you do come up with your um, legs, just try to hold it up there and squeeze your glutes also. Once we're done with that, we went on to doing some hip bridges. If this is too hard for you, go ahead and take out the elevator surface we have here. But again, when you do come up, don't forget to squeeze your glutes and we left the resistance band on there. Once we're done with that, we did some abductors. Um, this targets um, your side, the side of your legs. Also, we went on to doing some single leg hip bridge, which is like the previous workout, but this focuses more on one leg. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy.